Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video and I'm going to be reacting to Chinchilla, Little Girl Gone. Now I discovered Chinchilla through uh, Rin, um, but I've only heard one song with her so far. So as I'm going through everything I'm hearing from Rin, I'm starting to look up all of those artists and song, uh, singers and go to their YouTube channels and start reacting to their content. So that's what I'm doing now with Chinchilla. This is my first reaction to something from Chinchilla's YouTube channel. So I heard you're back in town and haven't changed a bit, man. You get off talking down to the little man. Time you get what you deserve. Wow, you're so fucking stupid. Been a while since my head was this polluted. Lucky I know my own world. Man, this is uh, this is pretty cool. So I think that the only song I've heard from Chinchilla with Rin was Chalk Outlines, and a lot of people said that I should have reacted to the live version instead of the studio version. Um, and now I'm kind of maybe seeing why, because the studio one of Chalk Outlines, which is the only one I've heard so far, uh, was a great song. Um, but... It, I, I'm wondering, I, and now I really feel like I need to go watch the live version of Chalk Outlines to see. Uh, people were saying basically it shows her talent, shows more of her vocals and and her talent, right? So seeing this, this seems re really different and uh, far superior to what I heard her do on the studio version of Chalk Outlines. So um, I didn't really know what to expect because I'd only heard her on the one song, but. Uh, for a solo project, this is this is really cool. I'm gonna roll it back just a little bit though, because it sounded like it was leading into like a climax point of the song. So let me let me roll it back a little bit. But yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. I like that part of the lyrics. It's almost like ASMR because in the headphones, it's like you can really hear the crispness and the clarity of her voice. And then it's bouncing back and forth from one ear to the other. I don't know if it's going to come through that way on my recording, um, but that's how I'm hearing it. It, it when she's going, don't, 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 don't. It's going back and forth. It's a really cool effect. I like how that part of the vocals, it it almost sound like like an art like you know what they're depicting here is kind of like as an argument. Um, so it almost sounded like yelling, but obviously she wasn't singing it like yelling, but the way that she was able to depict her voice to almost almost come across as a yelling, but singing instead. I don't I don't know if I'm making sense, but I'm not saying it sounds like she was just yelling the lyrics versus singing them. She found a way to sing them so that it would incorporate both almost the sound of a yell and a sing at the same time. Uh, I, I really like a lot of the way she's utilizing her voice. So like the part, like I said a moment ago, where it seemed like it was going back and forth, almost an ASMR, ASMR like super clear um, sound. And then now how she kind of took her voice and was able to change the vocal range to sound, to emulate, emulate like almost a yelling. Uh, yeah. Let's keep going. Did you think I'd be easy? Snap me like bamboo. 
Bought me into the soul of your drag boot. Wish I could bottle the taste. Cause I drink up that look on your face. So you, so you wanna fight me? Are you big enough? Kick the back of my knee. Are you serious? You keep on trying, boy. I like your blood on my teeth. Just a little too much. So bite me and slap me around the face. Now I'm twisting your arm till I hear it break. I get stronger every day. Yeah. I really like that. It, 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 there's two elements of the song that kind of made me think of other artists and I couldn't quite place it at first, but I figured out one of them. The part where it was saying that kind of had that a ASMR type sound where it was like going back and forth. Um, it's slightly reminiscent of one of Billie Eilish's songs. I can't think of the title of the song. Like, I, um, but the just there was there was parts of it that 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 reminded me of it and then the parts where she's doing more of like almost like the the yelling vocals um it's reminded me of a song too and i can't place that one at all like i can't even place the artist at least the other one i could kind of place that it reminded me a little bit of billy eilish uh just that one little part of the song but the other part with the 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 more yelling vocals um i can't remember which it, 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 it's reminiscent of another song and I just can't place it. If you happen to know what I'm referring to, tell me in the comments. And, and, uh, um, by no means am I trying to take anything away from Chinchilla and her performance and her song here. Um, but I think it's natural that musicians, singers and performers, artists, whatever, you're always going to be inspired by other artists and, um, intentionally or unintentionally either way, you're going to emulate or, pick up pieces of, of, of other, uh, of other people's sound or style, um, and incorporate it into yours and make your own out of it. So I think that's what she's done here is like, even though I can recognize pieces of it here and there, potentially from other artists that maybe she, uh, is inspired by, she still took it and made it her own. So, uh, really dug it. I like the direction of the, um, the video as well. Uh, it was kind of fun, you know, the, the, um, the saloon style and, and, uh, you know, her being tough enough to stand up to the guys. So that's kind of like women empowerment. Um, so yeah, so I really, I really, I really dug the video. I really like the song. Um, so far I really like her as an artist. I've only heard, this is her first solo one I've heard. And then the one that I've heard her do with Ren. So, uh, I already have her entire YouTube <laughs> catalog listed so that I can start doing reactions. So long as I don't get a copyright strike. So if you are watching this, then that means, um, they let me play it. Um, but yeah, if you've got some other artists I should check out, please tell me in the comments below. If, uh, if you know of any other artists that has featured Chinchilla, um, other than Rin that I should check out, let me know that as well, because, uh, I may not have found those yet. Um, so far what I found is the stuff she's done with Rin and the stuff that's on her YouTube channel. But if there's anything else out there with other artists, I don't have that stuff yet. So yeah, let me know. If you uh, want to see more like this or more from what I'm dubbing the Reniverse, that means anybody and everybody I discover through Ren, um, there will be a playlist at the end of this video. So check that out. Uh, if you're new here and you like this, please subscribe, click the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video and do give it a thumbs up. It does help. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.